And welcome to Back Issues, the first one of 2019. I'm Sal. Woo. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Woo. We're talking about Ultimate Spider-Man. This is a series we kind of do. It's like an unofficial sub-series of Back Issues where we cover Ultimate Spider-Man in chronological order. What even do we, though what do we call it? I don't know. We call it Back Issues. Ultimate, Ultimate Back, Back Issues, issues I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, or Ultimate Spider Issues. Just keeping with the theme. Yeah. That being said, you know, this is the only series we do that with. I can't believe you haven't thought about this and already had a name ready. Yeah, no. We have a name. It's called Back Issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't open the name up with Ben around. He'll <laughs> suggest something like Encyclopedia Nerdtanica or something. No, we're saving that one. Yeah, How about Back Issues Attack? <laughs> this is called Cats and Kings, or at least the volume is. All the issues have their own chapter names. Who cares? <laughs> Fact is, it's the debut of Ultimate Black Cat. Okay. And the debut of Ultimate Electra. Oh. This is going to be my episode. Oh, yes. Here we go. Bam. Open it off to a good start. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice. That's right. So I don't care about the rest. No. Does Elektra feature heavily in normal Spider-Man uh, no, stories? No, not at all. Yeah, yeah I didn't she's think a Daredevil so. At all. She is straight up a Daredevil character. Um, Just checking. She's a Marvel character. Like, she has interactions yeah. with those characters. Yeah, she's but, like, there, but, like, I could but count she started on, in Daredevil. I could seriously count on one hand the amount of, like, 616 Spider-Man stories in which he has actually encountered Elektra, <laughs> much less fought her mm -hmm. or had shared some significant plot time with her. Right. Okay. And that's a that's a generous estimate. Is this like they, they want to create like a like a love triangle? No. He's like interested in both of them. No. Oh no. Okay. That would be very weird. It would be. Uh, <laughs> Bendis is this interesting thing. Of course, this series is written by Brian Michael Bendis with art by Mark Bagley. Until it isn't, but we'll get there one day, maybe or not depending on how long this series lasts. But uh, Bendis, when he's dealing with like murderers, characters who are straight up assassins, he doesn't know clearly how to humanize them. Mm. So he makes them like monosyllabic morons. Like the Punisher, his, <laughs> his dialogue for the Punisher could be counted on two hands. The amount of like words the Punisher has said. And I guess he's doing the same thing with Elektra because Elektra says like two things. Mm. The rest of the time. Oh, and but I, she's a ninja. She is a ninja or, or whatever. Like, she's supposed to be mysterious and sexy. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, like, we ultimize her, so we give her, like, the, the lamest version of Electra costume. Mm. Is it as lame as Jennifer Garner's costume? No. So second lamest. But it's almost there. <laughs> so it's no, not like, red whatsoever except for the headband. Yeah. yeah. It's implied Electra. It sucks. I th I'd say it's neck and neck with Jennifer Garner's Electra. Mm, okay. At least she wore red. <laughs> so the story picks up where we left off uh, Spider-Man's beaten Doc Ock and Green Goblin and uh, his own duplicate and Venom and all yeah, that yeah. stuff yeah. Uh, so the, the crux of this is the Kingpin's been released from jail because that's what happens right and uh, do they explain oh, no, like why there's I, like I, I oh he got out somehow oh as I recall he doesn't even go to jail he, he flees oh. the country to escape the allegations of murdering somebody on videotape. Okay. And Ben oh. Urich, of course, like ace reporter working for the Daily Bugle, wrote this whole thing. He had a book deal going uh, about Wilson Fisk, the kingpin, and what he's done, and how like everything fell apart when Spider-Man got involved. And uh, so Kingpin comes back, and everything's fine. And Spider-Man's like, are we just going to ignore this? <laughs> Big time. And that's him, the whole book. It's just him being like outraged. Right. Because he's a 16-year-old kid right. who defeated a crime lord. And then, like, two weeks later, the crime lord comes back, and he's like, and everyone, just acts, you, like it's everyone acts like it's fine. And, and it's happens. great, because he goes up against, like, all these different institutions within society who, like, know that's messed up. Right. But, but like, do nothing. But do nothing, or, like, justify it to themselves. Mm -hmm. Like, we'll get I'm assuming those. the cops? No. No, Peter doesn't really have any relationship with the cops, mm -hmm. outside of the video game. Uh, I mean, like, he does later on in the real world. But, like, whenever he gets involved with cops in, like, the Ultimate Universe, they die. <laughs> like, Gwen's dad. Right. So, Pete's swinging around the city, and he's having a grand old time because there's nothing happening. And he's like, come on. Nothing? And then he hears some gunshots. like, ah, thank you. So, he shows up at, like, what appears to be a mob poker game. And the Enforcers arrive. The Enforcers we saw in the first Kingpin issue that we did. But... Yeah, they are again. the whip. Yeah, yeah. It's the whole team of enforcers. Colorful, classic Spider-Man villains who have been ultimized, but like only slightly. The funny thing is there's almost no discernible difference between these and the original enforcers. Like, one is a whip, 
wielder. The other one's a gun shooter. The other one's big. <laughs> you know, like, mm -hmm. uh, well, what are you going to do with these characters? Well, they're, those are like classic fighter Yeah, things. it's like, true. They're all oh, archetypes. I've got ranged, and I've got like a weapon, and I'm just big. <laughs> yeah, he's the, he's the, he's he's the, the tank. tank. Yeah. Now we just need a healer, and we're set to go. <laughs> right. Unfortunately, they don't have one of those, and that's why Spider-Man keeps kicking their ass. Uh, but they work for the Kingpin, and they're basically shaking down a guy who used to work for the Kingpin, and they're like, hey, we need our $1.2 million that you owe the Kingpin. And mm -hmm. he's like, uh, Kingpin doesn't live in America anymore. <laughs> and they're like, oh no, he's back. You well, owe him the money. It doesn't matter if he lives in America or not, he's still the Kingpin, right. and money is international. Well, except, like, there's also a newspaper headline that says, like, this guy is a murderer, and like, so if he ever comes back, he's going to jail. If he's caught shaking me down for money, uh, like, I kind of figured that I was good. Right. That I don't have any more debt. And they're like, well, you thought wrong. <laughs> That is wrong. Yeah. Man. Especially to a criminal. I know. So Spider-Man shows up and he just says like, hey, what's going on? And then he runs into the enforcers who are like, oh, no, it's Spider-Man. He's like, oh, no, it's the enforcers. If I had known it was you guys, I would have actually spent more time coming up with something funnier to say. Can you guys take it for the top? I'm going to come back in. And then you guys say, <laughs> and then they attack him. Uh, and I love it because like Ox, the big dude, has like the biggest problem with Spider-Man. Hmm. And I think it's because like Ox is... A bruiser. He doesn't right. really think about like how Spider. He, he sees this little guy who has like a I big mouth. I should be able to beat I him. I should be able to beat him, and all he does is like hand me my ass, and yeah. it like makes me really frustrated. My only thing that I do is beat people up, and I can't do it. Right. And I don't understand how he's so strong. Right. It doesn't well, make any that, sense yeah. to me. And Spider Man keeps like trying to take him down, but he won't go down. Like he's mm. just too tough. Right. And he's like, "Come on, you have to knock down. Like I've punched way bigger guys than you." Hmm. Uh, that's not like a thing. By the way, it's not like, it's because he's related. Oh, he's got an actual, no. he's got a healing factor a little bit. Yeah, no, it's just he's big. He's big just, and he's, he's tough. He's just a little like tough. Rocky. He's got a lot yeah. of muscle. It's harder to and hurt him. I think Pete does, like, reserve the amount of force he puts into, like, regular people. Because like, right. he has the proportionate strength of a spider. But he doesn't want to, like, kill somebody by, like, punching by through punching their face. punching them in the face. Yeah. Like, I gotta knock this guy out. Woom! And his head just explodes like a grapefruit. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh God! Ooh, I that has to have happened like one time, right? He did that with Craven the Hunter. When Craven the Hunter attacks him, he goes like backhanded him, and he knocked him across the like the parking lot and unconscious. And he goes, "Oh, I thought he had like powers." <laughs> he acted like he had powers. He wore a costume. He said he was gonna kick my ass. I clearly have powers. I'm sorry, but at least he didn't murder him like Superboy right. Prime. So, uh, basically. Everyone starts shooting at Spider-Man because they're all criminals. Right. And he goes, "Oh, come on! I was trying to help you." Hey. So then he leaves. Maybe you'll forgive my dad if I help you out. Right. Nope. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so uh, Spider-Man leaves, and they're all like, "Huh?" And then like the cops are coming, and they're like, "We got to get out of here." And then a huge web blanket just drapes over all of them. Nice. So then uh, they have to go back to the Kingpin and tell them that not only did they not get their money back, but Spider-Man stopped them. And Kingpin has a real problem with Spider-Man. Wait, the cops yeah, are coming, obviously. but. And they're covered with a giant web, they still get away? No. Kingpin paid their bail. Oh. Rich, powerful people can get away with anything, is the theme of this story. Yeah. And Spider-Man says that again. Like, when he runs into the mega, he's like, you're supposed to be in jail! Like, why aren't you there? This is stupid! So, we meet a new character who is Kingpin's lawyer slash consigliere, uh, who is basically Kingpin's mouth. Like, Kingpin doesn't talk to lower-level people anymore. Mm. Just keeps it keeps a little distance, but it's the kingpin, so he's obviously going to get his hands dirty at some point. But uh, the enforcers are basically trying to tell the kingpin like, here's what happened, and kingpin's just like really quiet about it. And the lawyer says everything for him, and the lawyer is basically just like, so you you royally screwed up, like you brought bad news to the kingpin, you brought bad news about Spider Man to him, you didn't get the money back, like you screwed up. And they're like, no, you don't understand, like. We didn't screw up. Like, we did everything right. Spider-Man was the problem. Right. You like, can't beat him. Yeah, we didn't do anything wrong. And Kingpin punches a table apart and says, like, no, you shot guns off in the middle of the night. Like, that was your problem. Yeah, you drew attention. Exactly. Yeah. And so they get kicked out. And so Kingpin is talking to the lawyer, and he's just like, God, this kid, he is immediately on edge. He's really frustrated. There's something else at work that's really bothering him. But... He can't let go of this Spider-Man thing. Like, this child whose face I've seen, but I can't place because he's, like, a white kid from, like, New York who's 16. Like, how many of them are there? Right. So that's I it. I can't go to the cops and have them do a drawing. Nope. Yeah, I don't have photographic memory. Exactly. Yeah. So, but I know it's a kid, and that bothers me so much. <laughs> and, he, and he has, like, a personal problem with me. 
Like he keeps trying to like ruin my affairs. Right. And it's kind of funny because he's not gonna stop. He's not gonna stop. And he has Im he has impunity. Like there's nothing. Nothing's gonna stop him. He'll he'll right. never stop because he'll live longer. Right. <laughs> yeah. Eventually he will win because eventually either I'll die <laughs> first or he'll defeat me. I don't think he thinks that, but we can certainly <laughs> believe that. Basically, the lawyer's like, yeah. There's nothing you can do, man. What do you what do you want to do? Like, how would you beat him? And Kingpin's like, hmm. We we are treated to like a campaign ad of footage of Spider-Man, where they're like, so do you want your law enforcement in the hands of a child in a in a Halloween costume who does whatever they want, who has their face covered and no accountability? Like, no. That's why you want to vote for this new district attorney, Sam Bullitt. And Sam Bullitt is this like intense looking dude who's holding children and surrounded by police and American flags. And J. Jonah Jameson is like, you can count on the Daily Bugle's full support, Mr. Bullitt. <laughs> we are in all day long. Editorials for Sam Bullitt, profiles about Sam Bullitt, anti-Spider-Man, Sam Bullitt connections. And Robbie is just like, Jonah, what is your problem? <laughs> like, we don't even know this guy. Yeah. I don't care, he's anti-Spider-Man. Oh, I know all I need to know. Mm -hmm. what, what, what is that ad saying? I don't understand. Like. And so what are you oh, going to do about Spider-Man? I'm, I'm going to murder him. I'm going to do what the cops and the current district attorney won't do. Like capture him? I'll... Is implying he's going to stop Spider-Man yeah. somehow? Yeah. How? So How? is this Fisk's plan? I guess he's basically saying like... What was Nixon's plan for getting out of Vietnam? <laughs> remember he said... Well, right. not remember. He it's not like we were alive yeah. then. But he said he, yeah. he ran the platforms that I have a plan. Right. It's called leaving. It's a very... Intricate, intricate and secret detailed plan. secret plan that you will only know the details of if I am elected president. Right. And then they elected president and he just left. Like, there was no plan. He just pulled out. That's all. That's all I have to do. Yeah. Right. Hey, we're out. And uh, arguably, that's more effective than Sam Bullitt's plan. To well, it took him more than like four years, though. Oh, that's true, yeah. It did. Well, it was a quagmire. What do you want? <laughs> okay, but is Bullitt in the Kingpin's pocket? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. Oh, no. Like, yeah. we transitioned from Kingpin's plan to this execution. No. Uh, Kingpin owns Bullet, and he'll, like, have a... Uh, and, and it's also, like, intricate. It's not just, like, I'm going to... Okay, I need to defeat Spider-Man, so I will run a phony DA campaign. Like, no, then I'll own the district attorney as well. Like, it's right. a whole thing. Right. So... And I know that Jameson has a problem with Spider-Man. It's all, like, interconnected. Like, right. that is a Kingpin. Like... That's genius, where it's like, now I'll own a newspaper, too. Right. Who will promote good things about me, about Bullet. Uh, Peter listens in on the conversation. Jonah's like, hey, this isn't a summer camp. Get out of here. <laughs> so Pete leaves. He goes home. He's moping. Mary Jane shows up. They're back together. Oh, all right. Mary Jane shows up, and she's like, hey, what are you doing right now? He's like, I'm sulking. <laughs> she's like, ah. Knock it off. Well, stop, because I have a list of everyone that knows you're Spider-Man. And I want you to look at it because this is a problem. And Pete's like, wait, who knows who Spider-Man? I need to hear about this? Yeah. Like, I need to know this right Peter, now? Peter, we've got to start crossing some of these names off. <laughs> That's what he says. He goes, what, what is this, a hit list? <laughs> She's like, no, I'm just saying it's a problem. He's like, I know it's a problem. It's that was yesterday's problem. <laughs> I have new problems every single day. Today, there's a guy running for district attorney on the platform of I suck. <laughs> That's the new problem of the oh day. Oh, God, it's high school presidency all over again. <laughs> it is, yeah. Just like every day is a new catastrophic problem that could kill me, you, Aunt May, my whole life. Mm -hmm. Everything sucks. In New York. Right. Well, mm, Sometimes. to a lesser extent. <laughs> but uh, so he's just like, this sucks. Like, thank you. Yeah. And so he's like, all right, Thanks well, for let's look at the list. Okay, all right, here we go. Like the X-Men. Well, they're superheroes. are not going to betray my secret identity. Captain America. Oh, no. Doc Ock knows who I am. Well, he's in jail right now, so we don't have to worry about him either. Also, he's a psycho. Just because you're in jail doesn't mean you can't, like, tell people shit. Oh, I know. Oh, that is, like, why does that never happen? Right. Because they're always like, oh no. We did it in Marvel like Spider-Man. Yeah. at some point. Matt Gargan finds out because the symbiote tells him and he's like, why would I waste the only stick I have to shake at you? Because who cares? What? <laughs> yeah, what, 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 so you, you have a plan. No, no, like, uh, but I have long enough in this jail cell to figure it out. Like, get out of my face. <laughs> so, you know. So anyway, <clears throat> she's just like, it's she, so Mary Jane's like no. My point is just it's too many people who know right. you're Spider Man. You gotta you gotta do something. Right. He's like I know it's too it's many people. It's getting bigger. But like what am I gonna do about that? Like there's nothing I can do about that. And so he says like I you know I, I'm like so he's like giving her a really hard time. She's like why are you yelling at me? And he's like I'm I'm not yelling at you. I'm just I'm sorry. Anyway, she's like I'm leaving. But uh, listen, 
Your problem with this like politician guy, usually politicians are like owned by people, corporations and stuff. So like usually the question is like why are they doing something? Like, always ask yourself like if someone is insisting on something, like ask yourself why they're doing that. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah, well like who would have a problem with Spider-Man? She goes, oh man, if only there was a list somewhere of people who knew who you were that you could cross-reference with this guy. Oh doy, I got this list right here. Like see how I'm useful? And he's like, not really. <laughs> so she leaves. And uh, so he's like looking at the list and it doesn't factor in. I'll say this. Yeah. Well, because that doesn't, that doesn't logically work. No. Because it, there's no indication that the district attorney knows who Spider-Man is. Oh, no. Well, I no, think it's that. a cute moment for these two teenagers who think they're figuring things out. But at the same time, it's a good point. But it's also like not like right, less, and wrong time. Mm. You know, like, yeah. hey. Like, it is uh, helpful, but not like necessarily valid. Now or here. Yeah. Irrelevant. Especially because just because someone has a problem with Spider-Man doesn't mean they also know who I am. Right. right. Exactly. Right. It's very weird. Yeah. So well, she's in high school. She help. doesn't know anything. Right, exactly. <laughs> so thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. But if you could point out any reference as to how this is actually going to help. Yeah. No, it's true. And it doesn't factor in. But it's just right. a cute little scene. Yeah. But uh, so spider mans swinging around the city, and there's like, take back our city from Spider-Man campaign Ugh. posters all over the place. And he's like looking at it. Ooh, and what does that mean, take it back from Spider-Man? I'm not taking anything. It's... What does that mean in any real yeah. life situation? Yeah. And yeah, it's just like an emotional. And I love it thing. because this scene is kind of like real, but he's beating a relevant. bad guy. Yeah, but he's not the police. Right. What right does he have? Yeah. Uh, let's see a picture of Doc it's, Ock. It's an image of him displaying like extreme power against a regular person, as opposed to like <laughs> a regular person with with eight mechanical arms. arms. But he's got even a regular Four face. Of <laughs> right. He doesn't have any powers, and he was savagely beaten. Mm-hmm. So that is concerning. Yeah, it's just a way to show, like, look what he could do. Yeah. Uh, so he's sitting there. If he and could do this to Doc Ock. Imagine what he could do to you. Or your family. Or your, or your dog. So he's, he's, you know, looking at this crappy poster, and this lady from a crowd just says, like, go away. We don't want you here. Get out of here. And he's like, what are you talking about? Like, I live here. <laughs> why, why are you freaking out? And she goes, just go away. And she grabs a ball, and she throws it at him. Wow. And he catches it. And everyone's like, oh. <gasps> He's like, yeah, I'm freaking Spider-Man. And he's like, nice. For the record, you attacked me. I put this bottle down and I left. Moving on. Mm -hmm. Just want you to know, like, this is the reality. Yeah, you're a villain. Right. And I'm you not even going to punch you. And I'm not going to do anything about it. You assaulted me. I yeah. can have you arrested. Yeah. I didn't even call yeah. you any names and you wore that outside. Because this lady looks like a lunatic. <laughs> oh, it's the singular out from the crowd. It is, but it's also... Like, I love this image she because... She looks like someone that's real. <laughs> you know, like, well, like a crazy dressed person, like, yelling at people well, on the street. Well, not only that yelling, but, like, I have a strong opinion about yes, things. I'm and I'm going to make my voice heard. And I watch, like, cable news, like, constantly. Yes, and I'm, like, I'm hyped up by it. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm bombarded by a, a rhetoric by someone with something to do. Like, some with a, with a, with a motive yeah. that is not altruistic. Right. And it is amped me up to the point where I am actually committing violence. Right, of throwing things at people. Yeah, because I'm, I'm just so mad, so mad and said. upset and scared yeah. by like whatever bullshit someone's slinging. Gee whiz, that's not relevant today. <laughs> so then uh, Pete's at the Daily Bugle, he's working. We rarely get to see this, but it's irrelevant to the story, which is why we're suddenly at the Daily Bugle a lot more. And uh, the headline is, Kingpin cleared of all charges. Questionable evidence deemed fraud slash inadmissible. Uh-oh. And Pete is like, he's just the Pikachu meme. You can't figure it out. Right. And he's like, man, like, and Ben Urich, and he's looking at Ben Urich, and Ben Urich is like f drinking. No. And he's like, oh, like, this is bad. Because this is like a believer, and he yeah, did all this. He's... He had a book deal. Like, this is over. And so Robbie is like yelling at Jonah. Like, he's just like, Jonah, like, we took the kingpin down here, right. man. Like, what is your problem? And Jonah is like, I have an agenda. I want to beat Spider-Man, and I'm right. going to get in bed with anybody who will do it. He's not saying that, but like that's what's on the undercurrent of what he's doing. Right. He just hates Spider-Man so much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Kingpin, the evidence against him was fraudulent. The real problem is Spider-Man. Well, like Spider-Man handed somebody else a videotape, and suddenly we're going to just use yeah. that as evidence. Like what? Oh, so Spider-Man's going to show up and testify as to right. the authenticity of what happened? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's not. Yeah. Then I. Then I. Well, I guess I, it's all bullshit. I rest then. my case. Yeah. And uh, so Pete butts in, and he's just like, I don't understand. Like, why are we focusing on, like that? Like, why are we focusing on Spider-Man, like, right. being bad or not, when we could be focusing on the fact that, like, we know Wilson Fisk's a murderer. Right. But we're going to, like, clear him uh, in the public eye. And Jonah's like, 
hey, I got a question. What are you even doing here? You're fired. <laughs> That's it. You, fu- you asked a question, you're yep. gone. Yeah. And yep. Pete's like, oh. Oh. So he's fired. He leaves. Wow. Before he leaves, he does go into Jonah's <laughs> office because Jonah and Robbie are still talking. And Pete's like, hey, uh, I want... Let's date the book a little bit. I want my zip disks back. <laughs> Let's, let's update it. I'd like my flash drives back. I'd like my SD cards back. Hey, right. I'd like my cloud storage back. I'd like my floppies back. Yeah, that's back. That's further back. Yeah. yeah. Zip disks. At least floppy disks were used for more than like three years. <laughs> but anyway, so Peter wants his zip disk back. He's like, hey, that's, that's my stuff. Mm-hmm. You're going to fire me for no reason. I want my property back. Right. And Jonah's like, well, just go take it. Don't make it a big thing. I don't care, whatever. And he goes, oh, by the way, I just want you to know, like, you're, you were fired not for what you said, but how you said it. Which is, like, every adult I've ever heard in my yeah. life. Yeah. Well, how did he say it? I don't not understand. W- Pete goes, that's a load. He said it questioning yeah. That's a load. Yeah. No. I didn't you, call you an asshole. Yeah, no. I just said. You, how dare you? Like, uh, no, you fired me because I asked you one question. I asked you a question, you fired me. That's what happened. Don't throw this what I said, how I said it bullshit. Oh, that's wow. just what an adult would say. Like, that's nonsense. I asked you a question that you didn't like, and you huh. didn't like what your answer might be, and so you fired me. That's what happened. Yikes. And he goes, hey, now you're double fired. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> that's not a thing. You can't. And Robbie goes, so we're firing teenagers because they don't because you don't like their questions now. That's what kind of newspaper this is. You were better when you drank. Robbie, you're Whoa. half fired. Yeah, right? <laughs> and then he just leaves. That's awesome. And so Pete's like, ah, he's all amped up. He sees yeah. a big old billboard that says, vote Sam Bullet, end the madness. Spider Man circle slash through it. And he goes, You want a madman? I'll show you a madman. Yeah. He swings right over to Kingpin's office. Kingpin's having a meeting with like his lawyer and a bunch of like bullet ad campaigners and they're all talking about it. And you can see Pete just like, swinging towards them. And then he like slams into the window like he's gonna crash through it like Batman, just slams into it. <laughs> Reinforced glass, Kingpin knows. Yep. And so everyone else is freaking out except for Kingpin who's just like, huh. <laughs> That's really funny. That's great. Yeah, Pete almost dies. Like he falls <laughs> off he's like, oh my God. He's like hyperventilating. He's got spider sense, he'd have been fine. He didn't know yeah, the, he was. He slammed into a wall, so he's disoriented. I, I'm willing to bet he was ignoring his spider sense. Like, you're you're heading towards glass. Yeah. You're know, like, yeah, but I'm gonna yeah, break it. Yeah, but I know. I'm gonna break I'm it. I'm gonna break it. And he didn't break it. No, so, I mean, he has spider sense. So, like, even if he falls off the building, he's gonna catch himself. Well, here's the thing. He, the spider sense just tells him when danger is. Right. It doesn't, doesn't tell him like how to catch it. Right. He's still got to react. He's still got to react the right way. Yeah. But of course he does though. Yeah. yeah. So he clings to the wall. Kingpin like makes a call me gesture. Kingpin's just like Spider-Man's just slamming against the glass. Oh my God! He's Kingpin like, wants to date me. Yeah, that joke does come up. But uh, does he go downstairs and like come up through the elevator? <laughs> no, he basically goes like, "This is a metaphor for the futility of fighting you. I see what you're doing, and I'm not gonna cotton to it. Leave." So we see Pete in class and his uh, his stellar teacher, who I definitely had at least six times in my life, uh, is like so. Uh, we have an extra 10 minutes worth of class that I didn't account for. Uh, does anybody want to talk about current events? Mm-hmm. And Pete's like, yeah, I want to talk about the Kingpin. No, I meant I meant good current events. Like no. Anything relevant. Yeah, the Kingpin is a murderer who was caught on tape, and now we're just going to pretend like it's totally cool. What's up with that? Why is that? Mm-hmm. And she's like, well, the court says that he didn't do that. And he's like, yeah, but like... I'm not asking you what the court said. I'm asking what you as an adult, as an authoritative figure, think about that. Like, what is that all about? And she goes, well, the government has has a system of checks and balances. And, you know, like, I believe in the courts. And if the courts say you didn't do it, then I'm completely fine with that decision. And he's like, that's, no, you are not. (laughs) That is, that is such nonsense. I want you to know, I want to know, I don't care about that. Do you think it's fair? Mm. And she's like, do I think it's fair? Well, I mean, you know, it does have flaws, but he... He does do a lot of good for the city. What? So, I mean, like, you know, uh, the, the ends justify the means, I guess. And what? he's like, oh, my God. What good does he do for the city? Like, he donates money. Yeah, he's... To, to institutions. Right. And he says, yeah. I am sick of all this compromise. Like, when... What age do I hit where I give up all of my beliefs and values like you? Mm-hmm. And she's like, maybe you should get out and get a breath of fresh air, son. Oh, wow. And then he gets kicked out. He goes, well, I guess I've done all the learning I can today. And he leaves. And he was suspended. Oh. And Aunt May, he goes to Aunt May's job. 
and so the two of them are talking and he's she's just like uh they said that you threatened your social studies teacher and he's like no i asked a question and she didn't like the answer so that's what happened and that's what happened actually the daily bugle got fired because i asked a question well it's about this this kingpin thing and you she's did like, just ask a question at the daily bugle you did kind of berate your teacher <laughs> yes and insult her a lot yeah, yeah. well don't yeah, well, be she a, had it coming. Don't be an obtuse dumbass. Like, yeah. you know? But anyway, but he's just like, he's just like, I don't understand. Like, it's just, this whole world is messed up and stupid. And she goes, you know what this is about, don't you? And he's like, what? No, Kingpin, he's bad. She's like, your uncle's murderer is in jail and he's not getting out. Don't worry. Mm. And she's like, you know, I, I'm also unhappy. And like, I'm, I'm happy in different ways. Like, sometimes I'll go downstairs and I think I see Ben there. But, like, he's not coming back, and the guy who murdered him is staying where he is. So just just keep your head on straight. you got to go to apologize to your teacher so you can go back to school. <laughs> and uh, and I'll talk to Jameson. And she picks up the phone, she calls. She goes, yes, uh, Mr. Jameson's office, please? It's May Parker. Yeah, hi. Uh, I just wanted to say that your, your behavior towards my nephew was deplorable. <laughs> and that you were an egomaniac. And Hitler called, he wants his look back. And she hangs up on him. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome and I love that scene <laughs> uh, then uh, so the bugle has to write a puff piece editorial about Sam Bullet. they send Ben Urich nice yay now I don't know if it's Jonah sent him subconsciously or if the kingpin requested him as like a humiliation tactic mm. either way Urich is interviewing Sam Bullet, and he's like so okay I got my recorder here who is Sam Bullet? But, like, but oh. I'm a reporter like I know how to ask the right questions. Oh and yeah, then well, that's the thing. Right, but, like, I, but your you need your job is to write a puff piece editorial about this guy. Oh, it'll be puffy. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. So he says like, uh, well, Sam Sam Bullet is a servant of the people. He's he's a family man. He believes in justice and fairness. Uh -huh. And he goes, what's the deal with Spider Man? Like, why Spider Man is the, why is he the focus of your campaign? Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, Spider Man is it's not about Spider Man. Spider Man is a symbol of all these 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 things that are out there in the world. That we don't have control over and that like can screw everything up and that have like unchecked power and all this stuff and he's like, uh, uh, do mutants factor into this as well is it well f mutant be, mutants are a, a delicate issue that i'm looking into i'm like oh i've, oh. Heard, I've heard that oh. <laughs> i'm looking into it i'm yeah. looking into the mutant problem what mutant oh problem? the the problem you <laughs> yeah. say oh he didn't say problem though no. he just says like it's, it's, it's a delicate issue yet. that yeah. i'm looking into yeah Yurk yeah. says, so where there's smoke, there's fire. And Bolt's like, Ex exactly, exactly. Yes. See, See, you, you get it. You get it. You, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and uh, that's when he looks over Bullet's shoulder and he says, boy, that's a big fish. So it's a photo of <laughs> Bullet with the kingpin on a fishing trip. Uh, why would you have that in your office? That's awesome. Because yeah. the kingpin is a... It's a public a, figure yeah, and he's, he's, a, he's, he's, a, he's a man accused. of people. Anyway, so he goes, oh boy, that was a hell of a fishing trip. You should have seen it. And he goes, and so does the where there's smoke, there's fire principle apply to Wilson Fisk? And he goes, well, what do you mean? And he goes, well, the man's been accused of many things. Murder, among the rest. But, you know, thievery and, uh, and bribery and being the kingpin of crime. He goes, whoa, 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 what, are you, what is this? What are you doing? He goes, I'm just <laughs> asking you a question. He goes, you know, I thought we had an understanding here. And he goes, whoa, 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 what understanding is that? And he says, I just want to know what your affiliation is with Wilson Fisk, a man who's been tied to mob lawyers. And the guy goes, there's no such thing as mob lawyers. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Did you say there's no such thing? Because there are there are lawyers that are associated with the mob, but there's no such thing as like a mob lawyer. He goes. So you're saying there is a mob, and that there are lawyers with whom you were associated with Wilson Fisk. Goes, whoa, 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 no, you are putting words in my mouth. He goes. Well, you could. I pl I can play back the tape. Like there's no. <laughs> it's, no, no. That's. I'm just arguing the term that you use. He goes. Well, did you did did you or did you not just say that there are no such thing as mob lawyers, but there are lawyers that work for Wilson Fisk who work for the mob and that your employer works the mob. And then he grabs the tape and he smashes it and he says, what the hell is wrong with you? I thought we had an understanding here. Like, are you, are you a smart guy? Are you looking for trouble? Is that what you want? You want, you want a beating? And the guy's like, are you threatening me? And he goes, we had an understanding. Now get out of my office. Whoa. So Yurik goes to Jonah and Jonah's like, that's what he said. <laughs> he said that. And he's like, dude, I asked him two questions, and he completely, <laughs> like, freaked out. Like, two questions, and the district attorney potential completely crumbled. Yeah, Yikes. because you questioned him. Yeah. yeah well, like, he thought he was geez, untouchable. Because he's not cool. Right, like, <laughs> but I got, I got the kingpin's backing. <laughs> yeah, and he goes, you got this on tape? He goes, well, I smashed it. And he goes, like, oh. And he goes, but he didn't get the one on my person. Uh, <laughs> and they're like, you carry two recorders at all times? He goes, when I think I need them. Yeah. Goes, Are we being recorded right now? <laughs> 
And he goes, why would I need to record this conversation? <laughs> Are you going to answer the question? <laughs> right. So anyway, Yurik is just like, dude, the guy like threatened my life in two minutes. Yeah. I asked him like three questions and he completely went like full mob on me. Like, come on. No one is this bad to warrant you making these terrible decisions. Then the meeting is interrupted because Jonah has a phone call from May Parker. <laughs> and we see what was on the other end of that conversation. And while he's being berated by Aunt May, he's looking at a poster of Spider-Man. He's like, ah! <laughs> This is why, I, by funny. the way, I love Jonah as a character. Hmm. The, the, the ultimate Jonah, they're both great characters. But yeah. he like, does he make changes? In Ultimate life? Jonah grows. Yeah. Okay. Changes and like, That's fantastic. Yeah, I love Jonah. Jonah Especially when he starts what? plowing May. What? That's like, we are not far away from that could have happened in this series. Mm. It doesn't. I'm not surprised by it. <laughs> right. Because they God. had a little relationship there over the phone. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, where he's like, oh my God, I have a boner. Apparently, I like this. Could you yell at me some more? <laughs> I go to some, he goes to their house. Hey, May, listen, I just, I, I, I completely disagree with you. I think that Peter is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what? How dare you come to my house? <laughs> oh. May, are you seeing anybody? <laughs> what is this? Get the hell out of my house, you creep. <laughs> Enough of this. You've awakened me. <laughs> So anyway. scream at me, yell at me, tell me I'm a bad so, man. So Jonah goes downstairs to his car at the end of the day, and he's greeted by the enforcers. Oh. And they're like, hey, so you're a kingpin newspaper. You're going to write all the nice things about Sam Bullitt you can. You're going to write all the anti-Spider-Man stuff you can. And you're going to stop. And we're going to give you a nice big scar to remind you about what you should be doing. And they beat up his driver? Oh, yeah, they beat the hell out of him. Well, that way he can't drive away. Oh, yeah, because Jim Henson doesn't well, And to show him, you know, like, yeah. that they mean business. Yeah. And then Spider-Man shows up. And he's like, I was here to kind of give Jonah a piece of my mind, but I guess I have to save his life now. Thanks a lot. What the hell are you people doing here? <laughs> Why aren't you in jail? Oh, my God. This is stupid. So then, like, they have a big fun fight. Yay. Um, Fancy Dan accidentally shoots Ox in the, sh in the, in the foot. Oh. Trying to... Because Spider-Man's dodging him. Mm -hmm. Right. And, like, never lets it go. Like... You shot like, me! You shot me, I'm gonna kick your ass. He goes, dude, it was an accident. He's like, I'm gonna get you. And he's like, come on. We work together. That's like, a, that's just, that, that happens in the scene. We work together, scene. but you still shot, you shot me. me. I'm gonna punch you. You know what your thing is? You gotta guns. be careful. Right. You gotta be more careful. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's a deadly weapon you have there. Excuse me, I could've been killed. <laughs> like, my expertise is being big. I never punched you by accident. Yeah. Like, you're a pro at guns. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. That Ox is, that is irresponsible. Oh, you know what it is? It's because Whip Guy accidentally hit Fancy Dan right. with his whip in a previous scene. Yeah. So now Fancy Dan has to shoot Ox, and then Ox is going to punch Whip Guy. Yeah, it, it's a whole thing. It's a Three Stooges kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, so Spider-Man accidentally gets shot. Like, he wound, he winds oh. up actually getting tagged. Oh, shit. Uh, and then Ox grabs him, just like, slamming him against the car. Yikes. And Jonah's just like, here we go. And he picks up his phone, and he hits, like, voice record mode. Uh-huh. And he's like, how long have you worked for the Kingpin? <laughs> wow. And they're like, what the hell are you doing? He's like, I, you, you said earlier that the Kingpin sent you to attack me, J. Jonah Jameson, publisher of the Daily Bugle, and I want to know how long you've worked for the Kingpin and how long the Kingpin has been, like, you know, doing these... Act you know, he's just, like he's roughing just, people up and yeah. only people... He's, he's reportering them. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And so uh, they're, like, caught off guard. <laughs> and, like, what? And Ox is holding Spider-Man upside down, and Spider-Man notices that Ox has these, like, fun boxer shorts and he gives him a huge wedgie <laughs> it is very he gives him an atomic wedgie he does and, give him an atomic wedgie and very distracting oh yeah and Ox of course goes Yee! and Spider-Man says you have no idea how ashamed I am of myself for doing this <laughs> and then he finally like beats them up and he gives like Ox like 16 punches to the face like, fall down uh. Ox finally crashes into a car and he's With like, a concussion. And he's like, oh, my God. All right. So thank you, Jonah. Yeah. For the That's what you're supposed to say to me. Oh. <laughs> and Jonah's like, thank you. And he goes, was that hard? He goes, yeah, it was really hard. <laughs> yeah, I hate you. And he goes, yeah, I don't thank anybody. He goes, yes. And he's like, what are you doing? Are you recording me? He's like, he goes, uh, I'm a reporter. This is the news. Why do you wear a mask? And he's like, what? <laughs> mm. And he's like, no, tell me. Like, why? Why are you wearing a mask? He goes, dude. I wasn't kidding before. I actually did come here to like give you a hard time, but like I just heard that you were doing an about face on Sam Bullet, mm -hmm. and so I want to know like why did you do that? Like why why are you hard lefting on on the whole Bullet thing? And he goes buy a paper. 
And he's like, you're a piece of work. <laughs> then he leaves. But does he ever say, like, this is why I wear the mask? Yeah, no. he should answer the question. No. He has a good reason. He did already on TV when yeah. he fought Doc Ock. Yeah. You That's what he should that say. Story. Like, I already, you know. Yeah, buy a paper. Watch the news. Yeah. But, uh... I don't believe uh, televised print. Yeah, exactly. Which is not a print. <laughs> televised news. Televised news. Yeah, I don't believe in televised. I don't own a television. <laughs> Something he would say. Yeah. Uh, I love this moment too because like the, the security shows up and they're like, "We heard gunshots." Yeah, and you heard a lot of gunshots. Yeah, and and then we like mustered up the courage to finally come through here and come in here. Are right, you go first? No, but you... all... <laughs> there's a lot of guns. Wait until they stop. Yeah. Okay, it's been, it's been like so five minutes. Since all the enforcers are webbed up, and like the two enforcers who aren't ox, are like one of them's like, I'm breaking up the team. Hmm? We're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is not working. <laughs> exactly. Something has to change. So Pete changes, he runs back home, he walks up to the front steps of his house, and J. Jonah Jameson is sitting there. And what? he's like, What are you doing here? And he looks out, he looks up at the window, and he sees May, and she's smiling at him. So clearly, like Jameson and May already talked. Uh. Or banged. <laughs> What? Thanks for that, Ben. Won't get but, that out uh, of my head now. One of the things that like drove a wedge between Pete and Jameson in the original universe is that one of Spider-Man's first adventures of all time was that J. Jonah Jameson's son, John Jameson, was on an, a, a space shuttle. Yeah. And it, there was going to be a problem, and Spider-Man went in there and saved John. But Jameson didn't like how Spider-Man was involved in any way. He thought maybe he sabotaged the shuttle. Mm. Um, like, why was there even a problem? Exactly. It would have been fine if Spider-Man hadn't been there. Yeah. And so Spider-Man... Like every previous mission where nothing went wrong, there was no Spider-Man. Right. Then this time, something went wrong, and Spider-Man's there. Coincidence? Right? I'm only asking the questions. So no, I think that's proof. Spider-Man saves John, but Jameson takes it the wrong way, and it right. like completely informs the rest of the relationship. Hmm. John, of course, will like become a character in the 616. Like, he's, mm -hmm. he's, he's Man-Wolf. He's a, a, an orderly at the Ravencroft Institute. Like, he's done a lot of different things. Hmm. Uh, in any event, in this universe, he died. Oh. And Same Jameson, accident? Same thing, though? Jameson's like, my son was an astronaut. Have you ever heard of the space shuttle Orion? Like, that's the one that burned up on reentry. Like, I called, like, NASA. I said, you know, I want to know what happened. And they said there was a technical malfunction. He's like, yeah, but my son is dead. And they're like, I'm sorry, sir, that's classified information. I don't know anything about what happened to my son. I don't have a body to bury. And that shouldn't matter, but it really kind of does. Hmm. He's like, you know, I have a lot of problems with that and my grief over my son. I get that. But, like, my son is a hero. He was an astronaut. He was, like, he gave his life for science and exploration in this country. And then Spider-Man shows up, and he's this guy who wears a mask, and he jumps around, and he, like, makes a big spectacle of himself. And everyone's like, he's a hero. And he's a hero. No, my son's a hero. People in creepy masks who jump around are not heroes. They're vigilantes. They are against the law. Right. Well, like, he doesn't even go that's that far. Still. He's just like, that's not a hero. Like, a hero in my mind is that. Right. And now the world is telling me that that's a hero. Yeah, right. Jonah, because you were born in the 1940s. Right. Well, that's, like, kind of <laughs> yeah. true. But he says, like, but today I, my eyes were opened in a big way. You're not fired. In Aww. fact, like, you're, like, double hired. I'm going to put you on assignments with Ben Urich so you can, like, learn what this city really looks like. Oh, wow. Like, you're a good That's kid who cool. asks the right questions. And also, yeah. and I, I clearly know wasn't asking the right questions. Yeah. And, and I, I need you to protect Ben York. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. And he says, you know, uh, he goes, aren't you worried after, because Jameson wrote an editorial immediately following that incident ah. about it. And he goes, like, aren't you worried that, like, the kingpin is going to come after you based on that editorial? And he goes, no, not after tomorrow's headline. Huh. And he goes, oh. So then uh, they leave, you know, like, they yeah. leave on good terms. Cool. And, uh, the, the headline is Kingpin Cronies Blow Lid. And so Kingpin is in this like really, really nice, swanky Manhattan restaurant. And he's eating alone. And across from him is Spider Man reading the newspaper. And he says, <laughs> Do you know what my favorite part of the newspaper is? Today it's the headline, but normally it's the gossip section. Because the gossip section always tells you where all the rich, fat people eat in the city. <laughs> and so I knew where you'd be. And so here you are, eating every day like you always do for two. <laughs> and so Jesus. Kingpin just eats his meal while Spider-Man like berates him, mm -hmm. and he says like, "Look at you! Like you're just sitting there eating your food. Like you have no not, not a care in the world. You're a murderer. You're a thief. You're the kingpin of crime. And people just let you eat in this restaurant. It's bullshit. 
So I, I came here today just to like give you a hard time and to look you in the face and tell you that one day I'm going to stop you. <laughs> and Kingpin's like, let me tell you what's going to happen. <laughs> one day I'm going to find out who you are. And then I'm going to come to your house and I'm going to show you exactly what I am. And Spider-Man goes, are you hitting on me? And Kingpin's smile immediately fades. He's like, God damn it. Like, I can't even scare this guy. He goes, anyway, I do have to go, but uh, I'll see you later. Hmm. And Kingpin's like, did you web my feet to the floor? Hmm. And he goes, maybe. (laughs) Kingpin goes, what possible satisfaction could you have derived from that? He goes, see, you don't understand me, I don't understand you. (laughs) And right before he leaves, Kingpin goes, I'm going to find out who you are. And he leaves. And I love that because it's like, it's a fun scene. It sets up things. But like, Kingpin is just like, you need to understand the gravity of the situation. Mm -hmm. One day I will find out who you are. I do have money. I do have influence. I do have power. I do have connections. And I will find out who you are. If I set my mind to something, like I do it. Yeah. And And you're telling jokes, but it's not funny. Right. And it's... Stop smiling. (laughs) Get out. (laughs) Like, I will find you. And when I do, your life is over. Right. Over. Like... Not just yours. Probably the people you care about, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But them first, and then you. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. you can't even possibly comprehend what I'm going to do. What I'm saying is, I have a special set of skills and that makes me a nightmare, too. People like you. <laughs> <laughs> so the next chapter is just Black Cat. It's all about Black Cat, but also Kingpin. Okay. Uh, and then she uses her sophisticated crime technology to break into the office. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, we have, you know, some bendicing moments with these two security guards who are, like, freaking fracking it up. And... But yeah. she, she, Are they? Did they know she's breaking in? No, they have no idea. She's. Okay. It's, we're seeing like her. Yeah, her, like her cat how burglary. Ooh, good she is at she's avoiding excellent. those people. And she got like she got sprays that dis- dis- disable stuff. She's got like claws that let her embed herself into the walls and stuff. It's she's really cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, she breaks into this guy's office. She finds that like there is this like picture frame that has like a grid of lasers in front of it. She moves the picture, gets the gets rid of the lasers, it's a safe. She has no way of opening the safe. She doesn't know what's going on. She opens up one of the filing cabinets. There's one red folder in there. Mm. Lifts the folder, safe opens up. Not a very good security system. Not especially. <laughs> she takes out what appears to be this like stone tablet with hieroglyphics in it. Oh. And that's exactly what she's looking for. And uh, that's when the security guards show up because like the safe was tripped. Mm-hmm. Uh, she immediately evades them and... While she makes it to the roof, she bumps into Spider-Man. Oh. Spider-Man's like, hey, uh, what are you doing? Because he didn't hear about, like, the filing alarm. He right, was just, he's just there. Just, he was there. clandestine. Yeah. And he says, like, wow, you are a step up from the usual riffraff that I encounter <laughs> on rooftops. And In so, more ways than one. Yeah. So the two of them have a little back and forth of a fight. It's like she jumps off the building. He thinks she's just going to kill herself. So he jumps off. He realizes after... He falls, that he's out of web fluid. He barely manages oh, to get back up there. And he's like, he just th- throws up words at her. Uh-huh. He's just like, you have no idea what just happened. I totally forgot I had web fluid. But then I remembered I had spider powers. So I used them to get back up here because I thought you were going to fall and die. And then it turns out I was going to fall and die, blah, blah. I was going to save you. You don't understand. I'm, yeah. I'm really awesome. And she's like, hey, whoa, whoa, stop trying to avoid me. I- I'm-, I'm throwing words at you like they're daggers. Like, And she just kicks him in the chest and like knocks him over. And she goes... Crossed a black cat, seven years bad luck. Uh, and he's like, so does that mean that I have had seven years? Or does that mean I'm going to have seven years bad luck? Because if you're going to be in my life for the next seven years, I mean, you could call that bad luck. I don't really call right. that bad luck. And uh, so then he like trips and like lands on his ass. For and like just, the first time ever? He, more or less. Like uh, It's more that like, I think she kicked him in the junk. Oh. I was like, oh. <laughs> and he didn't realize it until a minute later. That's what happens. Like, yep. No, I'm totally fine. I'm going to... Oh. Oh. Then he just watches her leave, and she gives him like kind of like a like a duck face, uh. and then like goes off. And so he's at home, and he's just like kind of like thinking about how hot she is. And Mary Jane <laughs> is just hanging out with him, and she's like, "What are you thinking about?" And he's like, uh, "Uh, nothing." She's like, "You were being Spider-Man in your head. That's what you do. You go off." Oh yeah. And she's playing with his web shooter, and he, she like accidentally fires it, making a kind of like a phallic uh-huh. uh, <laughs> joke ejaculation reference. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Poop? Huh? But basically, they have this back and forth, and she so. They're talking about him being Spider-Man and what he's been doing over the past couple of days. And uh, basically, he says, like, I don't want to talk about Spider-Man right now. I don't want to think about that. Uh, I'm with my, like, appropriately aged girlfriend here. Like, let's, what's going on? Hey, how are things with you? Mm -hmm. We talk about me all the time. What's going on with you? How are things with your dad? And she's like, oh, we're going to talk about me. We haven't talked about me in months. Yeah, let's do a plot about Mary Jane. So she's like, my dad, yeah, like, I remember, like, 
he cheated on your mom and there was a big thing. Like, what happened with or something Pat? Or yeah. whatever. And she's like, oh, he's allowed to stay. My mom just, like, is a complete, like, wuss and just, gives, g- like, gave up. Mm. And now he's a complete dick. He's at, like, now he just does it with, it with, like, with, you know, reckless abandon. And everyone just, like, lives in this house with my idiot jackass dad and my miserable mom. And so my life sucks. Oh. And, like, they kind of flirt with the idea of, like, maybe we'll get married one day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So they make out a little bit, and then uh, Aunt May shows up, and she's like, you both have to come upstairs. Mary Jane's dad's here. Uh-oh. So Mary Jane's dad is there, and he's just a complete asshole, just cold, totally gruff. He's like, and he goes, so uh, we need to have a conversation about your diary, Mary Jane. Uh-oh. See, I was reading it, and uh, it says some, ver- some very disturbing passages. And Aunt May has this great moment. You should do this at your own house. Yeah. <laughs> that is exactly what, look. And he goes, if oh, you're going to talk to your daughter, Fine. I, I would, May, Not here. but this involves Peter as well. You see, oh. uh, it says, I almost died tonight. Oh, my God, I almost died. I can't believe if Peter hadn't been there, I don't know what would have happened to me on that bridge. So what did happen on the bridge, Peter? Oh. Oh, oh shit. <sighs> okay, okay. I can totally explain this. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, May, I'm, I'm Spider-Man. We got to bury this body. <laughs> well, the jig is up. <laughs> you got me! <laughs> the whip. <laughs> Congratulations, asshole. Now I have to kill you. <laughs> Worse or better? Maybe you should just respect people's privacy. <laughs> Good job, Detective uh, My Girlfriend's Watson. Dad. <laughs> it's Watson. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't really bother to learn my girlfriend's last name. But anyway, he doesn't answer. And he goes, oh, you're going to be a smart guy, huh? Like, it's just like screaming at him, pointing in his face. And Aunt May's just like, get out of my house. Yeah. You psycho. That's- and then uh, Mary Jane's, or, and, uh, so Aunt May's like, what happened on the bridge? Yeah, but seriously though, what happened on the bridge? Yeah, and Peter's like, nothing. He's like, it wasn't nothing. And he goes, uh, <laughs> we were on the bridge and she, she slipped, she almost fell, and I caught her. It's just, the, it was blown out of proportion. And yeah. she goes She's like, in high school, she's overdramatic. Yeah, <laughs> but like she did you almost know, die. Chicks, like right? She slipped on the bridge and I caught her, like, that's all. Could it have been bad? Absolutely. Right. It was fine. Wait, 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 wait. How do you almost die by slipping on a bridge unless you're doing something dumb? Right. right? And like, and like that's it, a clear lie. And that's just like nature's, yeah. and, you know, like I can imagine like, oh, we were like, she was standing on the thing and she yeah. slipped or, you know, we were, who cares? Yeah. The point is like, uh, what doesn't happen is she doesn't write a green goblin threw me off right. the bridge. <laughs> Right. So Thank we're good. not that dumb. But, like, write that shit down in her house. Yeah, but, yeah. like, Craig, Mary Jane's dad, like, leaves with her and then, like, goes home. And oh, he goes, oh, your relationship's over, by the way. No more sneaking out. No more these little conversations at nighttime. No more phone calls. And if I, and don't pretend like it's going to happen at school because I know what's happening there. And I'm going to call people and make sure that there's no relationship there either. He's just, he's what? overcompensating for yeah. him being, like, a dick. Yeah. yeah. But he's also a dick. Right. So... Uh, they leave, and so Pete's like, he's not going to hurt her, is he? And Aunt May's like, no, 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 no. Hey, Gwen, put on your shoes. We're just going to take a little walk around the Watson house for a couple of minutes. And just <laughs> If we hear anything, we might call the police. All right, Gwen is still there. That's like literally the book reminds you because they're having their argument. And then like there's a shot of Gwen on the couch just reading going like, oh, my God. Mm. You're like, oh, yeah, Gwen lives here. Oh, yeah. So there was surveillance footage on the roof showing Spider-Man and Black Hat running away. So now people think that Spider-Man's a thief that works with uh, the Black Hat. Yep. This gets to the Kingpin. Kingpin sends the lawyer to talk to the guy who lost the tablet. Okay. And the lawyer's talking to the guy who lost the tablet, and the tablet guy is just like, you know, I, I wanted to work with the Kingpin. And, he's, and the lawyer's like, excuse me? I, I mean, uh, Wilson Fisk. I wanted to work with Mr. Fisk. And he's like, yeah, we don't use that word. Too many tapes around here. Mm. But uh, yeah, I wanted to work with him. And he's like, yeah, well, you need to recover the tablet. He goes, you don't understand. I don't have superpowers. I didn't, like, I, I didn't lose the tablet because, like, it, I, I'm, I, I touched it. Like, I told you that I had the tablet. And now the tablet's gone. Hmm. And the lawyer and he are, like, having two different conversations, which I really enjoy. Uh-huh. But the lawyer's like, you have to go get the tablet back. Your job is to get the He goes, no, 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 you don't understand. I told you that I, that I had the tablet. I didn't tell anyone else. Like, I didn't technically lose the tablet. You did. Like a hole in your system yep. lost the tablet. 
I like this guy. Yeah, yeah. It's, but like, what are you doing? It's, it's a lawyer for the king, but he's gonna kill you. Well, but I love. No, like, the what, lawyer's not gonna kill me. He's gonna hire somebody to kill. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But he goes like, you you have to go get it back. You, no, but I wanted to work with the kingpin, so I had this thing that he wanted, and now that it's gone, I'm not gonna be able to work with the kingpin anymore. So that's over. Our relationship's over. Yeah. And the guy's you like, blew it. Yeah, and the guy's like, no, you blew it. <laughs> and you have to go get it back. Get it from who? From where? I don't know who yeah, took I, it. I don't know. I don't have connections. You would know better than me. Right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. You're not I, understanding I, me. I feel like we're having two different conversations. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This so is, this, this, is, this is not working. Let's start again. Hi, I'm Bill. <laughs> But I love it. So the guy goes like, "You're gonna call this number. You're gonna go to this place. You're gonna meet this person, and then you're gonna pay them to get the to get it back." And he's like, "I I don't I don't want to do this. I'm not meeting assassins. I'm not doing this." And he goes, "No, you you came to Mr. Fisk with a promise, and you're gonna deliver on it. That's how it works." Goodbye. <laughs> so uh, Pete falls asleep in class. His teacher embarrasses him in front of everybody, and he gets detention. Uh, he tries it would have been to... fine. It ended up in laying back, snoring. Oh yeah, no, he always well, does that. Well, yeah, yeah. At least he's not breaking the desk in half like he used to. <laughs> but uh, he's talking. Sorry, to Mary... sorry, I got uh, I got a huge erection. <laughs> <laughs> I broke the desk in half. Yeah. Sorry. I, anyone, uh, uh, anybody believe in that? I, uh, I, I lift. I do. I don't look like it, but I'm I swole. do. Yeah. It's so all, it's all the it's all the steroids. Yeah, just nonstop steroids. Yeah, and, that's and me. And cocaine. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I got that cocaine strength. Yeah, that's why I fall asleep all the time. So, uh, oh, Mary there, Jane and Pete try to have a conversation, and uh, Mary Jane's like, we can't talk. My dad's got ears everywhere. And he's like, what? that's bullshit. That's... Your dad, and he's like, she goes like, he's like, Be after everything we've been through, this is what's going to make us break up, is yeah, your dad. Your dad. Yeah, and she's like, what do you want me to do? He's like, what do you want me to do? Uh-oh. And they break, you know, they, they don't break up, but like they yeah. separate. She and uh, <laughs> so, so Pete goes back to the Daily Bugle because like we just established he works at the Daily right. Bugle, so like we got to keep going back. Yeah, don't so forget, at, he still works there. So he's working at the Daily Bugle and uh, Robbie's like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm, 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 you know, not nothing. <laughs> I played snood. Yeah, and Robbie's like, well, since you're not doing anything. <laughs> Yay, snood! <laughs> hey, what a timely reference for this. Yeah, Man, right? <laughs> snood, snood invaded my life. Snood was amazing. I had, I had snood dreams, which is like Tetris <laughs> dreams. Snood dreams. Yeah, I felt like I was going insane. <laughs> like I yeah. was literally like dreaming. Well, you like, played snood, so just, you just were Just Grover going faces. Insane. I was like, oh my god. I had to. I had to, was like, I have to stop. I gotta. I gotta put this game down. I gotta stop playing this game. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so uh, he's like, here, file these. And he's like, what, what is this? This is like a piece of paper with like a bunch of money in it. And he's like, oh, some people take ads anonymously and they have to pay in cash. If they do that. And then he looks at. He's like, that's a lot of money. <laughs> so he reads it and it's like, Spider-Man, I was intrigued by our last meeting. Meet me on the one rooftop over from the last rooftop we were on. Signed the cat. Huh. Oh, thank God I read this out loud. And Pete's like, oh, I should not go. Mm. But I think I will. I mean, she might have some really important information. <laughs> <laughs> He does have that conversation <laughs> with himself. So we go to this like CD bar, and our like dumbass guy shows up, and there's Electra in like you know in shadow. Mm -hmm. Ah, but because of the black clothing, you're like, oh, maybe it's Black Cat. No, no, I no. He's meeting with, well, he's meeting with this, with an assassin to catch the Black Cat. Why, why would he want to work with the? Black oh, because she's working both sides. Exactly. Oh. She's like she's on diabolical. tape. They know it's her. <laughs> yeah, but if she's not like dressed like the That's Black true. Cat. That's true. Yeah, that. Mm. Eh, good point. All right, fair enough. It's deeper than what this yeah, is. It's not. Yeah. But good point. But she says, like, I know what I'm looking for. Did you bring the money? He's like, oh, yeah, I've got the money. And she goes, and he goes, here you go. And she goes, all right, we're done. And he's like, he looks at her, and she goes, don't. And he goes, no, it's just that I find you very attractive. Oh, I'm just wondering, you know, what your name is. And she goes, you can leave. And he goes, well, can I at least get your name? And then she reveals that she's Electra. Mm -hmm. And she's like, it's Electra. And he goes, is that, is that Greek? And she's like, get out. Jesus. Like, hum, 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 okay. <laughs> so he leaves. And you're like, what? You bought my that, services. That you didn't weird. buy my time. That is very weird. Well, he's like an awkward guy. Yeah, like he's he does. Like I mean, he, he, he argued with the Kingpin's lawyer yeah. over like whose fault he it was. He has no understanding of like boundaries. Right. <laughs> like what a real person. I just kind of figure like, I mean, we're here. Yeah. Want a drink? Right. Hey, you miss every pitch you don't swing at. That's right. You miss every shot you don't take. Yeah. It's a Gretzky quote. So uh, anyway. You can't get struck out if you don't go up to bat. That's right. <laughs> So all the bases are covered. <laughs> anyway, so Pete is like clearly jerking off to thinking about Black Cat, and he's like, "All right, I'm gonna go." He's in his bed. He's all by himself. The lights yeah. are out. Aunt May's like, "Okay, don't stay up too late." He's, he's reading like, a book. Yeah, sure. Over his. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> but he's thinking about Black it's like Cat. Like a decoy book. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I read. I read down here. So 
He, it's like upside down. He's like thinking about Robbie reading the note, and then he, the note like morphs from Robbie to her saying it to him. <laughs> and he's like, "Well, she did say it." Yeah. And he's like, "I should go there and tell her that stealing is wrong." That's that's, I'll do. that's that's how I'll. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'll just tell her, you know, <laughs> hey, like you know, and you know, the reality is she's probably not even there. That's probably is a big trap. I'm sure there's like a big guy there who's gonna punch me. Yeah, so, which I should find out about, and uh, you know, yeah, you know, be there and to I'll, take I'll him down. And I'll explain that I'm I'm way smarter than smart, too smart to fall into her lame trap. Yeah, and way, so, to, way to not think with the right head. So he, but he does use the other building to see, and he sees mm. that she's sitting there with some cheese, two wine glasses, and a bottle of wine, and a, like a little like picnic t- like cloth. Oh man! And he's like, now this is something you don't see every day. And she's like, oh hey, you're here. She actually says you came, but I wanted to avoid it. But you know what? Here we are. So, <laughs> but uh, she goes, I brought cheese and wine. And he's like, you robbed a man's office. She's like, he wasn't a very nice man. And he goes, is this a, is this a joke? Like, are you going to punch me? She's like, no. I just thought, like, you know, like, we have a crazy life. We're both wearing costumes. Like, I brought wine, which is hard to get up here in this outfit. <laughs> yeah, where goes, did I put it? Right. And he's like, use your imagination. <laughs> okay. It so was he, a bag. I brought it in a bag. Yeah. So he sits down and she's like. Do you like girls? And he's uh, like, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I like girls. She goes, are you horribly disfigured under there? He's like, not horribly. <laughs> so she goes, so she takes off her mask and she's like, hi. Okay, her mask are just a pair of goggles. Yeah. You can Listen, yeah, I, I, Catwoman I, has the same mask. Yep. Same but, mask for the same character. Yeah. But uh, he goes, well, I guess I can stay for a minute. So he lifts up his mask just enough to like, to, like eat. To eat. Yeah. So or they, make out. So they, they, they clink glasses and you're like, what the hell is going to happen here, Peter? <laughs> Peter, what are you doing? And then suddenly Electra shows up and there's a ah. fight. And uh, she, she attacks them. She throws all the ninja stars. Yeah. Um, what's it called? Uh, Fisk is like in a darkened room looking somber. Mm. And the lawyer shows up. He's like, Electra has engaged the cat and spider. And he's like, don't, don't talk to me. Like, I'm busy. And he's like, just, just let just me know. Just let me know what happens. Just let me know how it works out. Yeah. So then we see the fight and it's just a lot of fun. It's just a big, cool fight. Electra is like fighting Catwoman. Mm-hmm. Black cat. Fart. <laughs> Uh, so it, it's just a big fun fight. Uh, Electra is like clearly there just to kill Black Cat. Yeah. But Peter's Spider-Man's there too. There well, too. she shouldn't kill her. She doesn't have the stone tablet. Well, she needs to know where it is. Yeah. But they're fighting, and she Spider-Man is like kind of ball. ignored. Yeah. So he's just, just like, on the side, being like, like <laughs> "Are you gonna help me?" <laughs> oh, oh yeah, right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. No, he literally goes like, "Hey, a cat fight." <laughs> ah, woof. <laughs> Don't you mean rare? <laughs> oh, yes, that's it, rare. <laughs> so they're like, they're ripping clothes, they're pulling hair, and he's like, somebody should stop this. Somebody should really yeah, this is, put a that, stop to this. This is, this is real. This is getting intense. Yeah. This is getting real intense. Ladies, <laughs> there's enough of me for both of you. <laughs> so Electra knocks Black Hat into Spider Man. He's and, like, oh, look at his Oh, no. What <laughs> so then he webs Black Cat to a wall. Like, he webs like a oh. tether to her. He's like, you wait here. I'll stop. I have superpowers. <laughs> he goes, hi, uh, I'm Spider-Man. It's, you don't know me. You should stop <laughs> because this is. We, we should just talk about what's happening. And then they engage, and they, mm-hmm. she's like attacking him with size, and he's like, yep. what are you, ninja weapons? <laughs> and uh, she like knocks him off the roof. Whoops. And again, he, he barely manages to not die. No. He creates like a little like, like suspension thing that fires him back up there. And uh, he gets he, back and they're both gone. He gets back up there and they're gone. Yep. Yeah. And he's like, ugh. And he just falls asleep on the picnic table. And uh, what, he's remembering the fight. And there's a moment where Black Cat says, tell your master that I'm not my father. You tell him that. And uh, so he goes, I'm not my father. Who's her father? Batman? <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like lying there. And a security guard comes up and he goes, oh my God. And he goes, shh, shh. I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's so very Deadpool-esque the, the lawyer shows up He tells Kingpin Like uh, Electra was unsuccessful Oh so Catwoman got away Yeah uh, Aunt May is woken up In the middle of the night She gets a call Mary Jane is gone And he, she's like Oh I'll wake Peter yeah. And you're like Oh shit So she like Goes to Peter's room Bed's empty uh. She wakes up Gwen She's like Gwen I think Mary Jane and Peter Have run all night together Of course yeah. Right? Why would you? Why wouldn't you think that? No, exactly. She goes downstairs. Peter's in his underwear, drinking milk out of the cart. Thank God he's not in the Spider-Man suit. I know. Yeah. And she's like, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, What are you doing? He was like, I was, I was, I was hungry. She's like, It's one in the morning. He's like, Yeah, I'm 16. I live here. Right. I, I get hungry all the time. And, and she's like, Is Mary Jane here? He's like, No. She's like, Is she here? Like, don't no, lie for real, to me. Though. And he's like, No, no. Why? No, what? And she's like, She ran away. You promised me she's not here. 
So he like runs. He just immediately bolts. And, <laughs> and Gwen's like, whoa, dude can move. <laughs> so he runs to Mary Jane's house in his underwear. And uh, Mr. Watson is like in his like hoodie and a, he's got a flashlight. He's right, ready to go. He's ready to go looking. And he's like, where is she? And he like grabs him. And he like grabs his hand. He's like, whoa. Uh, Don't my hand, sir. Like, I'm looking for her. Whoa, whoa, Hansy. What are you yeah, doing? What are we doing here? And so, like, his, uh, Mary Jane's mom's like, stop it, Craig. Like, just let him up there. Whoa. And he's like, if she can help, let him help. So he goes to Mary Jane's room, and he's, like, thinking about it. He's, like, looking around. He's like, mm, he's, like clues. he's like, God is punishing me for trying to bang that cat lady. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Why did I go there? <laughs> this is all karma. Yeah. I, I deserve this. <laughs> and then he's like, got it. Because when Mary Jane was thrown off of the bridge the first time there was like a secret like warehouse that like they met that was like mm. their secret hiding place that he told her to go to okay uh i'll take that again yeah <laughs> that he told her to go to and so he's like that's where she is every way here and he runs and he like uses his spider powers to get there faster and he finds her and she's like a she's like unconscious oh in like her little like parka she's probably sleeping she's sleeping yeah and she's right in her diaries hilarious says i've never felt so isolated from the whole world in my entire life and you're like oh, yep <laughs> Uh, and so he wakes her up, and she's like, "Oh my God! Like, what time is it?" And he's like, "Mary, everybody's looking for you. What do you What do you think?" And she's like, "I just couldn't live in that house anymore. And like, my dad was researching like boarding schools, oh. and he was screaming about like how what a bad person you are. And he's like, he's cheating on my mom. And, like, I just couldn't live in that house. And I remembered like how Aunt May just wants you to be like uh, like just just to be like she just loves you for who you are. And like my dad wants me to be somebody else. And like I just can't live in like hypocrisy all the time. Mm. And he's like, you have to go home." And she's like, I'm going to be grounded forever. <laughs> uh, and he's like, well, I will wait for you. And you're like, oh. Aww. So then uh, Also, Pete's, like, I'll just come over to your house. You may be grounded, but I, I, I got spider powers. I don't think her dad's going to let him No, he over. is not. <laughs> but uh, so he's at the Daily Bugle, and he's, like, thinking about stuff. And he's, like, remembering the I'm not my father thing. And he's mm -hmm. like, hmm, not my father. She's a cat burglar. Maybe, maybe her, her father's a cat burglar. Mm. So he cross-references, like, known cat burglars with the Daily Bugle's database. And he finds, like, a article about a guy named Jack Hardy, and it shows him getting arrested with his daughter. Mm. And then he looks up Felicia Hardy, her daughter, or the, right, his the daughter, daughter yep. and sees that she works for Wilson Fisk. Mm. And he's like, oh my god, I figured it out. I'm like a detective. <laughs> Which means if I figured it out, Kingpin figured it out, like, yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so meanwhile, back at Felicia Hardy's apartment, Kingpin's there with Electra, oh. And he is just beating her savagely against the wall. Wow. And he's like... a hand. That's terrifying. I know. I love how big he is. But uh, he's just like, so, yeah, you wanted me to know it was you who stole from me. And I do. It's Felicia Hardy, daughter of Jack Hardy, a thief that worked for me, who died in prison. Like, and you thought that, like, working for me, you could, like, get information about me and find out about, like, things I wanted and could take from me. Well, now you're here. And you want to know about, like, you could have just come to my office and asked me what happened to your father. I told you the same thing. But here we are. So you want to know? Your father was bad luck. He was a bad thief who liked to drink. Mm. And it didn't help him. And he got caught. And he got, and he went to jail. And he died there. So give me my shit. Now you know. So give me my tablet. And then... Spider-Man shows up and he goes, wow, Fisk, I haven't seen you this angry since the colonel refused to tell you the secret to his original recipe. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so... I'll find out one day. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like a three-way fight. You know, Electra's like fighting Spider-Man and, mm -hmm. you know, the black cat gets it's away. It's a four-way fight, right? It is a four-way fight. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, Felicia's fighting Kingpin. Yeah. yeah. But uh, so, you know, Spider-Man webs everyone away. Felicia actually left. Like, she's on the balcony oh. and she's got the tablet. And she's like, like, Kingpin killed my father. Like, he betrayed my father and let him rot in jail. And now I'm going to take something away from him. And she's got this tablet. He's like, what is that? And she goes, it's something he wants. Like, I don't care. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And he's like. Does it matter? Yeah. And so they're like, they're like talking. He's like, we could, like, I'll, I could get you out of here. Mm. Like, we could just go right now. And then Kingpin like blasts through the door. Oh, jeez. And she's like, she smiles at him and she throws it over her shoulder into the bay. Wow. And she goes, I am very glad I got to do that in front of you. And then Electra throws a sigh into her chest. Oh. Whoa. So then she falls. Electra throws ninja stars at him, uh. which forces him to get out of the way instead of stopping her from falling. Right, right. So he goes to, so he assumes she's dead. So he jumps back to, to stop Kingpin and Electra. They're gone. 
He goes to where she must have fallen. She's gone. <laughs> and he's like, damn it. Well. I lost everybody. That, that was a weird adventure. <laughs> I mean, well, how did she get away? She had a sigh through her chest. Uh, the only thing maybe I she, can, maybe he, she went missed. right between her lungs yes. and missed her heart. Mm -hmm. So well, it was just like, how? She has great luck, right? Yeah. But oh. It's not powers. The end of the story is Fisk talking to Vanessa. Oh. Who huh. was in a coma. Oh. And he's like, like, I didn't believe in the tablet. I didn't believe that it had magic powers, but I didn't believe it would put you in a coma. I didn't believe it would take you out of a coma. <laughs> the idea. Yeah. So he's trying but, to save her. But you, but you believed in it, mm. and the fact that you believed in it so much meant that it meant something to me, and the more it meant to me, the more I believed in it, and it mattered to me because you cared. And then these people, they I'm get sorry. in my way. I'm sorry. Could you do this in the kingpin voice? Yeah, I was just gonna say. You when I was a boy. <laughs> I didn't believe in the tablet, <laughs> but you did, Vanessa. I now did. I do. But now I, but I did, and these people in this city <laughs> that I love so dearly, they get in our way, Vanessa. They oh, wait, mock our wait, marriage. Wait, whose city is it? My city. <laughs> it's always my city. It will never be your city or anyone else's city. It is mine. I wanted this city to be something beautiful. <laughs> but these people, they mock our marriage. They mock our lives and they step in my way. Please wake up, my darling Vanessa, please. Okay, you got, that, that was sad right there. It was there. sad. Yeah, yeah. That's very how sad. it ends. It adds, it adds a macabre, morose note. Yeah. It's at the bottom of, you just you go just get, go it. get it. It's right there. It just fell straight to down. Dock. You could hire ninja assassins. You can't, you can't hire, hire a sub, a, one diver? One diver. <laughs> one amateur snorkeler. <laughs> And, you, and the tablet is yours Guess to what? not work. It, it fell there an hour or two ago. No, it fell in the water. It's gone forever. Uh, it could really? be anywhere. Go like, down to the bottom and then find the only rock there Look at how words Look on. at how close to shore this, this tablet this is. It's freaking amazing. Now she does say like, it's just a rock at the bottom of the water. Like it is just a rock. But yeah, like, but like a it, distinct it landed one. right there. I know. Like there's a, probably only a couple that rocks guy. down there. Hey, you there boy. If you go down in the water right now and retrieve that rock, I'll give you a shilling. <laughs> The hell's a shilling? You All right, I'll give you ten thousand dollars. Do it in the next five minutes. I'll give you half a crown. So uh, anyway, potholes. <laughs> it's just she needed to be able to throw it over her shoulder, right. and then it wasn't believable that it would be like on the ocean, so it had to be in the back. Yeah. No, it should have broken. She yes. should have thrown oh. it and had well, it Well, but they needed to pieces. survive, so it and could they could have put later. it back. No, it never comes back. Really? Yeah, the tablet never comes back. What? I know. Bendis, you hack. <laughs> What the hell? What? They got a whole good story. I know. And they're just like, uh, uh, there was the one. I don't know. It doesn't I, matter. I wrote myself into a corner. I don't know yeah. what to do with it. No, yeah, you're saying it's... Then she should have just destroyed it. That would have been perfect. perfect. Listen, the end of the watch. The end of watch was written by somebody who knew he was ripping off the end of the Outer Limits episode. <laughs> what if? What if the tablet was like? <laughs> the tablet is at least it was, original. It's like just salt. It's like yeah, a giant thing of right. yellow salt. The second it hits the water, it's just melting yeah, just away. Right. Yeah. At least then yeah, don't it let it get it. wet. It'll ruin it. Yeah. One line. It's made of salt. What? Anything. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Anyway. But that's it. Uh, Cats and Kings, which should have been called Catfight. Uh, or Female Trouble, based on the back. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. What like, what is this? Well, the this, first half you know, of the book is? wasn't that. Clickbait. Yep. And it's like, oh, Female Trouble, you say? What? It's a weird thing to say. It's weird. Cool. Well, he's got, this is a fun book. It's a really fun book. I love this story. But check it out. It's in the description box below this video. Pick it up. Read Ultimate Spider-Man if you haven't. Uh, and don't let us spoil it. Read it and then watch our episode. We all have a good time together. <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll see you guys next time with another episode of Back Issues. And I promise we won't wait another six months. And we'll see you then. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. Okay. <laughs> I didn't pose. Yeah, Milton Claus. Do you want to? Yeah. Do you want right. Psy? We can get you the Raphael Psy. <laughs> we'll give you oh. the size. No, the girl had the size. I was doing Cat Claws. He oh, was doing well. Spider-Man. Oh, that's, that's right. Oh my God. Oh, I yeah, you see. Can be the girl. We're just gonna do something. Yeah. <laughs> like this fucking cover right here. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> not gonna work. <laughs> we got it. <laughs>